Hello everyone, at whatever time you are watching this video. I am about to demonstrate the balancing point between quantum mechanics and general relativity. In other words, the experimental equivalence of quantum gravity. This is, as far as I know, the first experimental attempt at logically equivocating two core phenomena, quantum entanglement and gravity itself. A little bit of background about the apparatus you see in front of you. There was a famous experiment done in, I believe, the 14th century by a physicist named Huygens. He found that two pendulums when synced on a bar or frame such as this, would start swinging, eventually, in opposite directions at the exact same time, effectively in sync. Now, I have been able to recreate this experiment by way of taking a Newton's cradle and removing the middle three balls over the side of the frame as shown. I will now attempt to set the two balls swinging and when they start sinking, I will demonstrate the quantum entanglement principle. So here we go. There's one, and there's the other. And now we wait to see if they start sinking. So let's replicate this first experiment. And you notice that after a little while, they start to appear in countersink. That's good. Now to make this quantum, which is all probabilistic because we can't see, I will put this cloth over the apparatus. Now you do not know which way each is swinging. But if I lift one side and you see that it is swinging in one direction, you should figure out that the other one is swinging the exact opposite way, as confirmed by the experiment. Here is the thing. Because the cloth was over the entanglement link through the bar, that literally was keeping these two in sync swinging, it has now become quantum, or probabilistic. On top of that, I shall also show you, by placing my portable hard drive in front of the two swinging parameters, yes, I know I'm causing the apparatus to move, but if you'll notice, and I leave that there, the two are swinging in sync with each other, despite there being the hard drive between them to block any air currents. The bar itself is what is entangling them. This also has another surprising point. For these two to be swinging in sync like this in opposite directions, energy must pass through the bar. This implies that entanglement does pass energy or information between the two particles. They are constantly always shifting between each other and just because a physicist can't read whether the spin that they measured is up or down being random does not mean that there is not information passing between the two. It just means the experimenter can't read that information. Now, for the final piece of the puzzle. I have now shown, again, to recap, that these two are entangled and swinging in sync between each other. Information is passing freely, but the cloth rendered that information uncertain. So once you opened one over here, you knew that the exact other one was spinning in the opposite direction or swinging, take your pick. Once again, information passes along an entanglement line, but it is not seen and is not readable because the link itself is not seen. Therefore, people can't read it. So in order for this to work, bear in mind that these two things are apparently disconnected on a two-dimensional frame. If we incorporate a third dimension, they are obviously linked. Therefore, the entanglement link, especially if it is distance independent in our frame, must be connected by a higher dimensional connection, which is logically equivalent to a wormhole. See attached papers. The last piece of the puzzle, though, to demonstrate that this is in fact measuring gravity, I have attached a string to the whole frame. And if I lift it up, well, wouldn't you know it? It starts measuring, and the two are still swinging in sync. 
This is what is known as a torsion balance, a tool used for measuring gravity since the days of Newton and Leibniz. So, ah, here's an interesting little bit. It appears that if you look along the line, the two, forward and backward, are synced in time, too, assuming that, you know, line of propagation from A to B. This is confirmed by another experimental paper about entanglement in time, not just in space. I can attach that accordingly. Hell, even the out of sinkage that is happening here can show the propagation of information. So, in conclusion, entanglement is a wormhole by way of higher dimensional connection, C bar. It is literally able to be hidden, see cloth from earlier, thus making it probabilistic. But because of the fact that it also measures, by way of the string, gravity outside, gravity is not only linking these two in the bar here, it is also influencing, outside, the way they swing back and forth, as per classic Newtonian physics. I believe I have successfully demonstrated that entanglement and gravity are the same thing, and as verified by the consent of the data itself, this is reality. A little rhyme that might help. Entanglement is gravity, consent is key to reality. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please see the attached references for further explanation. And uh, if and when you are viewing this, pass this along to your friends and suggest that they attempt to replicate the experiment and post video results of their own and share it around. I hope that by deliberate replication and peer review, even if it is open and transparent-ish, the data itself will yield whether or not this is actually true. In the meantime, bye for now.